kalenda kan niambia bari uko matakos tunafuatana Montezuma at 6 so it's like sawa mimi asubuhi tumetoka hapa na team tumekimbia tumefika in good time we have even taken tea that we could go there in good time we are we are good time keepers yeah, yeah. so client and call aniambia tumefika mko wapi atuko kunywa chai au atatukuja hapo kwa gate so mm. anafika kwa gate i don't see like there's no activity at all ai nikapiga uko wapi kasi maana tumeingia hapo ndani kama kwa reception so ningia kwa reception still no activity so so we met three ladies there nikauliza kuna yule client anaitwa ABCD eh watu wake wako wapi kanimza wakaangalia ni ile fan ya no my heart sank ama ile unasikia na kitumbu huu nikapiga client kama mko muontezo magani Hello everybody welcome to Sanana Mitindo this is yet another episode where we get to showcase another amazing guest we continue our series of Kenya's finest photographers and on set today i have another amazing guest mnajua wenye tunafanyanga hii story hakuna pressure so make sure you enjoy the show uh, tell a friend to tell a friend show ni Sanana Mitindo every wednesday at 8 PM Jo karibu sana kwa show. Asante sana Barak. Ya kwanza. Eh si unataka. Hapo sawa. Ama tufanye ngumi ni. Mwekse hapo sawa. Eh. Hapo sasa. You look amazing. <coughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, na nataka ku dress kama wewe with time. Na mimi nataka dress kama wewe. So to exchange tukimaliza. Yeah, hapo sasa. Ah, okay, eh. Sasa karibu sana. Thank you very much. Eh so okay. we are here to talk about photography. Yes. And you are a photographer. Yes. But maybe someone doesn't know you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay mimi nimekuita Joe. Yeah. Mtu hata Joe anaitwa Joe. Yeah. Anajua maybe the brand of your name. Yeah. So you can introduce yourself on your camera. Thank you very Mr. much. Yes. Let me try how the same energy as you. Yes. Hello, hello everyone. My name is Joe from Asa <laughs> Photography. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, si wezi, si wezi. <laughs> so thank you who uh, Barak for yes. inviting me inviting me here. Karim. My name is Joe Mbogwa. Uh head I'm a lead photographer at Asa Photography. I have started this journey of photography. I started this journey of photography from 2012. Um that was part time up to around 2015 when I went in full time. Mm-hmm. Uh for the next uh two years or so from 2015 I used to do photography only then I ventured into photography and video. And now I have a full team where we do photography, video, drone, live streaming and everything media. Mm-hmm. And I'm happy to be here and to share my life. I hope it will touch many people. I hope it will change Uh, lives and even empower people who want to be in photography amazing amazing kuna kitu uliko umeniambia before to get on set yes kuna watu wenye walikusaidia yes. so that you are here today yeah. and you would like to really appreciate that yes uh, this is your moment so should i talk to you or to the camera to the camera, to the, camera. Yeah, uh, the first person would be karo gaduru karo gaduru was my first boss mm-hmm. um when i went to do my marketing internship part of my work was to do um the the photography for the company we had many events we had uh, things called collateral collateral branded stuff mm-hmm. so i used to, when we brought in a new shipment i used to be the one in charge of taking those photos and all that and caro used to motivate me mm-hmm. uh on on how to run this as a corporate you know si kupiga tu pictures sababu umeambiwa upige picha but mm-hmm. do it in a professional way uh how do you handle people when you're doing people photography how do you handle feedback how do you handle angles uh, you know the very small things i didn't think about them back then but over time i came to see how much impact it had and to think of it you know photos are, the, are what give a story mm-hmm. and a whole manager at uh, entrusting an intern with the company photos was a big thing so if it, it wasn't for caro i think singe kuwa hapa nice nice and the other person was sharon odipo mm-hmm. who was uh, my also my direct supervisor back then mm-hmm. They all worked hand in hand to help me take photography as a career and run it as a corporate not siki mm. you know how people say paparazzi mm. uh, and then uh, there are many people but the other one was uh, my mom and dad who gave me a soft loan to buy my first camera wow. it was called uh, T3i oh, okay. I didn't actually I was still an intern so I didn't have uh, a lot of money mm. but the money they gave me because it was an offer for a very good camera and they entrusted my dream of buying a camera which is not what I done in school for me that is an amazing thing and they have, from back then they have trusted me up to today and I've never let them down and I big you up thank you 
amazing what yeah. uh, uh, nimeanza kukua emotional karibu ni pay emotional kuna kuna, kuna sababu ya tapa chini kuna sababu ya yes, yes. so basically uh, yeah. i'm already inspired by yes. your story even before we dive in Thank but you. you can tell us where did you grow up <coughs> yeah. uh, tell us just your journey yeah. uh, when you grow up when yeah. you in the raima yes. high school and stuff Um I I was born and raised in Nanyuki. Okay. Um that is in like Kipia County mm-hmm. if I'm not wrong. Mm-hmm. Uh that was up to I was born in 1990. I'm not 1990. afraid of saying my age. Mm-hmm. It's my age. <laughs> yeah, all the way up to 22 or 2 or there about. That's when we shifted to Thika. Okay. But uh, how my early life was I was a very playful and cheeky person. I still am. Unakaa. Ni vile hapa kajatokea kala kanywele but yeah, yeah I got my fair share of beating. Uh-huh. Uh sababu ni kama sio kiboko ningekuwa either committee ama nimestoniwa mahali ama just a wasted kid. Man. But uh, the society there was very cosmopolitan. Cosmopolitan uh-huh. means we are many communities. Yes. So it the unfortunate bit of that mm-hmm. is that I I was I was not very much in touch with my mother tongue. Okay. So most of the kikuyu cultures i've known them actually through photography because okay. when i shoot events and i do okay this is what kikuyu do and all that mm-hmm. uh, but i don't really know how to talk my mother tongue mm-hmm. but on the positive of it is i was able to interact with many people okay from different backgrounds from different uh, tribes mm-hmm. and i think it has helped me even in life because i'm a very social person okay. i blend in with so many people very easily mm-hmm. and I, i i attribute it to uh, as much as uh, it's my personality mm-hmm. but also my growing up because i was able to interact with so many people okay. from very, very different walks of life and different uh, uh, tribes mm-hmm. then we came to theka in 2002 uh, my dad got a transfer here mm-hmm. and uh, god also opened a way i think an year later or there about a few months actually i think a month later my mm-hmm. mom also got a transfer in theka so okay. we all moved together okay and it was a bit tough because now I was transitioning into my teenagehood mm-hmm. uh, where you're starting to almost feel like you are an adult but yes. you are not yes. then you are taken to a new town uh-huh. uh, but they helped us to copy it, uh, to copy in well mm-hmm. uh, the good thing the company we had in terms of uh, uh, in charge the company around our home neighborhood was a bit easy people helped us to blend in we didn't feel like uh, the new people in town or mm-hmm. all that Yeah. Of course there were a few challenges here and there because the card compared to Nanyuki back then mm-hmm. the car was very yeah, it was an urban area mm-hmm. Nanyuki was a rural area mm-hmm. so one thing i struggled with was like shrubbing <laughs> the first time i knew there was shrubbing was, was when i was in class uh, like, yeah yeah i came to class yeah i remember i, I moved in um, when i moved into the car I, i went to class 7 uh-huh. so was it class 7 yeah class 7 yeah okay so so the class teacher comes in introduces me this is uh, joseph my my official name is joseph joe is just a uh, transition yeah. yeah so this is joseph he's a new student he's from nanyuki so joseph mm-hmm. introduce yourself <laughs> so introdu- <laughs> introduce me i was so very nervous Can't introduce myself <laughs> so the introduction was not bad okay. but now he asked me two questions number mm-hmm. one which school are you in so the school is called mary immaculate but done <laughs> mine what I, how i answered was mary immaculate So people started giggling so I was like hey, is it a bad school why are they giggling uh, it's it's the school I was in yeah <laughs> but I, I never connected so he asked the second question uh, so what's your favorite color so that time my favorite color was yellow uh, so I said yellow <laughs> and everyone was like, so I was like is this a, is this a bad color I, I couldn't comprehend why they were laughing and were they were, yeah so later on that so another guy called Martin came and told me mono was my hero and not yellow so I was like what's the difference between the hero and yellow so it took me a, lo- a lot of time to actually know there is yellow and hero but over time i think uh, i've really worked on that side uh, and, and i think it's an advantage because the society is very unforgiving very so unforgiving. yeah so when, when you eh, but ni sawa but um, when you get raised in an urban area uh-huh. unfortunately or fortunately you get a bigger edge in society because mm-hmm. you get sharpened yeah. you get more um, acquainted with the way life is going mm-hmm. so even how you talk to people changes mm-hmm. compared to if you are rural you become more confident yeah. you see more opportunities mm-hmm. so i think uh, looking at my life the transitions in my life have just been preparing me for a better future mm-hmm. i'm not yet there yes. it's a journey mm-hmm. But everything I see as a stepping stone. Mm-hmm. Challenges are stepping stones, wins are stepping stones. Mm-hmm. 
So everything in life is a stepping stone. Okay, yes. nice. How was yeah. it for you in high school? Now high school, yes. Uh, in it was very immaculate. <laughs> <laughs> but kidding. So the first one was Nanyuki Primary. <laughs> that was up to class 4. <laughs> then class 4 to class 6 was Mary Immaculate. <laughs> still in Nanyuki. <laughs> then I came to the Kamoy Academy. That's <laughs> another school that shaped us very well. Wow. Um, <laughs> Bado uh, Iko, that time the headmistress was Mrs. Nguru. She's still there, she's very young. I don't know, teachers never grow old. I think I should be a teacher. <laughs> yeah, and then high school, I still went to Dika, a school called Dika High. Dika High. Uh, yes. Yeah. Our, our motto was Abundant Life. Abundant Life. Yes, and um, sometimes, you know, we look at the academics bit of it. Okay. You may say Alliance is better than Dika High and all that. Mm. But I think there is more to life than academics. Okay. And the people who came with that slogan of Abundant Life mm. knew the power of words. Mm. Because when you are in alliance, I'm a, a school that, I'm a, even a society, I'm a, a community that is very good according okay. to people's standards. Mm -hmm. But if your name is Wajinga Utoka Uku, mm -hmm. trust me, you will be Mjinga. Yes. But as much as the Kahaya back then had its own fair, fair share of challenges, mm -hmm. but the slogan Abundant Life mm -hmm. had a, some certain impact. power, impact, mm -hmm. because there is power in names. Yes. And mm -hmm. I've seen that through my life, people who I studied with. Amen. And uh, actually, some of the people who pushed me into photography mm -hmm. were my classmates. And okay. the funniest thing, mm -hmm. we were not buddies in high school. We were just classmates. Mm -hmm. But after school, we became buddies because we started doing almost similar stuff. Mm -hmm. And one day, they came over for uh, dinner at my place. So, okay. and they challenged me because I was complaining about my employment, life, and all that. Mm -hmm. So, one, one of them is called Kefas, Kefas and, and Kealo. Mm -hmm. So, Kefas asked me, but they want to complain now, never find a Kazi Pekeako. So, I was like, why not? Mm. That was in October. Okay. I think he doesn't know, or he knows. I, I, I'm not sure, but it, mm. it was October, end of October. Mm. And watch, watch show Kefas. Yes, Kefas. Mm. And come to me a link. Mm. And now subscribe. Mm. Uh, but that was a transition for me because I was complaining. So I think he, he noticed when I'm talking about Zile gigs in Mefana, I'm so excited. Oh. When I talk about my employment life, I'm so bored, I'm so you know, bitter and all he that. He identified your purpose. Exactly, your exactly. Wow. My purpose, and also he he identified the fear actually mm -hmm. that my fear is what was making me stay in a very nasty and toxic job mm -hmm. rather than venturing out into the unknown but something yes. i love yes and that night i made a decision in my heart mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. i will do photography mm -hmm. for life but the mm -hmm. question was when mm -hmm. so i rem i told myself when i get paid in october now simply pop on the yes. early, early month yes i'll quit and that's what i did wow. so big up kefas if it wasn't for you and kealo they, actually, they were never employed. They they started after high school, after campus. They started their Photography. yeah their company. No, they do they do event event management even up to today. Very big boys. Mm. Uh, if it wasn't for your push, Kefas and Kealo, mm. sing a kuapa so big up. Mm. Yeah. Nice, nice, yes. nice. Tunafaa kuoleta kwa show what to ambia about Kabisa. events and stuff. Kabisa. Okay, mm. so uh, uliko me to hint here about a little bit about yeah. how you now entered into photography yes. uh, with your parents <coughs> yeah. chipping in and helping you buy a camera. Yes. You can maybe tell us a bit more. At least yeah. now in, a, yeah. in depth, Kidogo. Okay. Yes. So my passion for photography, yeah. or rather interest, let me call it interest back it's then, but now it's more of a passion, <laughs> was uh, my dad had a camera, okay. uh, which I think he bought or was given i can't remember the history it's quite i still have it by the way i should i wish i could i could have carried it just mm -hmm. for a prop okay. it's older than me so mm -hmm. oh, that's nice. the beauty about it older yeah. than everyone here <laughs> yeah. you how old am i you you're, you're below 40. ah of course so it's, it's over 40. So exactly awesome. so yeah back then they used to use film did i feel like yes, film eh? yes. so he was a bit Touchy about it, me to me. So, I can afford a bigger picture, but I couldn't ever use it. Mm. But uh, then, in, of course, interest in Kakufa when I went, when we to leave, to Rihama, I pay interest, I think, in taking photos of Kaisha. Okay. But now in high school, to go Form 4, mm. uh, the school allowed us to, the Form 4 people to bring cameras mm. just to capture memories, which I think was a very good thing. Yes. Uh, so Nkakumuka, my dad has had this old, old camera, and Kenna Nkamugiza can be he funny, but. Uh, can you share another one that he had that would work? But we are film, so can the only thing you'll be buying mm -hmm. the batteries and a film. Mm -hmm. It could have to be a batteries. Mm -hmm. So I bought a film, I think I bought two films. So my, my mine was just to capture, um, you know, moments with my friends oh, okay. and all that. Mm -hmm. And it was, it, I felt nice just taking the photos. 
Ajua sasa ubaya feel una, ukipiga utangoja maybe a week or two ndio produce. Yes. But even just at the moment of taking you feel so nice. You feel yes. una feel kuna kamoto. Mm-hmm. Kuna kwa excitement. Mm-hmm. Eh hata kama hujaona picha the outcome. Mm-hmm. And uh, let me now bring in my cheeky side there. Uh, some of the things we used to do, you know, sasa hiyo used to be a very small camera. Mm-hmm iko na ka flash kake inbuilt yes. so my chiki side used to come out some at some point mm. this is the only time i've ever bullied someone in my life mm. ama in high school mm. so tuko tunatoka usiku na tukitoka prep sasa corridor nyo corridor za mostly dark yes. so unaenda na camera unafata una uniform wana anakuja una una flash kwa macho na flash so you know it's it's at night mm. he hasn't expecting sasa anakuwa blinded so they can't do anything then they are frightened because mm. sasa ona tu yote ukipiga na flash usiku unakuwa tu so hapo tumecheka <laughs> tuko na ina bo so now it can advance so we got to end up from one uh, dormitory mm. unamshafuma nafuma akiamka yake ushtuka unampiga flash yeah, wow. <laughs> so anakuwa blinded ah. blinded sorry uh, so but uh, all that said and done very cheeky, uh, very cheeky. <laughs> so after high school i didn't nika nikaanza hustle ya ya kutafuta do hiyo okay. transition between high school and uh, campus yes so nianza the first hustle i did if i'm not wrong was to sell credit cards mm-hmm. uh, but the profit other side there it's very campo uh, campo ni yeah. usayo okay nice but sasa that was before you say you okay. ako ako ka kawania ka, 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 eh umefanya umefanya computer packages mm. umefanya yeah. driving mm. na sasa uko idol tu yes. so nikaanza kutafuta uh, um kitu ya kufanya haswa mm. kufanya so nikaanza the first business i did was to sell credit cards mm-hmm. eh nakumbuka the profit margin was so low i think bamba 20 ilikuwa ni 1 bob wow. bamba 50 ilikuwa ni 5 bob bamba so ilikuwa ni 10 bob So you have to sell many mm. to get money. But now that time I didn't have financial discipline. So unapata mm. unauza vitu maybe za 300 unapata profit yako kama ya 400 ama 200 but una unafafa unajua hizi zote pamoja. Mm. Maybe in a week unauza hiyo zote za 300. Mm-hmm. So unapata you don't even see the fruits because mm. ushakula jo one bomb ndio upate yeah. yeah, exactly. Wait, so unapata umekula uto umekula sweet hapo umefanya so hiyo kanguka hiyo mm. died a natural death mm. and after that uh, since the camera was still available ile camera mm-hmm. so i used to there is a school that is near home mm. so nilikuwa naendanga hapo kuwapiga picha mm-hmm. so the first i went twice mm. the first one was very successful my cousin used to study there so i kwani organize weekend na nimekuja i time ameshapanga wase mm. so napiga group photos za classes napiga individuals so mnaandikiana watu wanalipa deposit mm. i think uh, i used to charge them 50 bob so wanalipa 30 bob then after one week nikaenda ni produce picha na kujana ripa balance mm-hmm. so the first one was very good i made good money mm-hmm. the second time mm-hmm. i think wali jandaruka na mimi nikawelkamiwa na robi mm-hmm. seme si no wenye una welkamiwa una welkamiwa na robi yes so eh, this time nikawapiga picha but wakasema sije pocket money hujatumiwa nini nini the guy was coordinator kasema watu watu wana pocket money fanya hivi you just go produce mm-hmm. bring them nita i'll make sure by hiyo week moja mm-hmm. watakuwa na pesa Wow. So nikaenda nikapiga picha nika produce nikaletea huyo jamaa akaniambia ah sawa hizi zina kafita na ziko poa kuliko last time sasa utabambika hapa mm. utakuwa sure mm. kila week unakama mm. akaniambia leta wacha nipelekee wasendi and pay do that was the last time I saw that guy Jeez. my cousin alikuwa amesha transition out of the school mm-hmm. so he couldn't help by and then no one was talking okay. ajibu kwambia nilipatia huyo jamaa nani ule anaitwa nani wanakaje mm. of course they knew who it was but yes. even that's how I lost all the photos mm. and of course hiyo pesa nilikuwa nimetumia to produce mm. And then in campus I didn't really interact with the camera. Mm-hmm. I think the just opportunity has come. Okay. And then now we come now to the internship. Mm-hmm. Now sasa pale mwanzo. Eh? Mm-hmm. So from internship I got a point now I used to my my boss was called Mike, now the CEO. So Mike, Mike Masharia mm-hmm. pia ni jenda kivi yake. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, na, I was in charge of the camera. So we can't nikuwa na sneak out. Because okay. camera iko na fa kutoka kwa ofisi but mimi niko niko in charge. So I know when it's out when it's not. Mm-hmm. Yes. So I used to sneak with it out mm. on Fridays. Mm. Saturdays na napiga mabeshte home. Mm. Sunday napiga mabeshte church. People used to be very excited. Mm. Then Monday na make sure I'm very early na nimerudisha camera mali just in case akuja tu atafute nini hapo amepata hapo. Mm. Then kuna now I'm risking my job. Yes. Uh, and many other things so, so now that's why my parents now nikawa approach aka nikamwambia there is this offer for this camera okay. it goes for a certain amount. Mm ame cut almost 40% off are you able to advance me this money mm. i'll pay in a certain period and they they believed in me they gave me the money mm. i paid in the agreed pay. i think i paid i paid even, even faster but that that camera gave me flexibility okay. i could shoot at any time not just weekends mm. and yeah we transitioned nice nice yeah. nice
tumecheki kazi zako and we'll be showcasing some of your work yeah thank you goes on. thank you but what would you give advice for someone who wants to yeah. start yeah. or um what has kept you going mm. even as a photographer yeah ethics zako ni gani uh, i think number one is to run your company as a business because mm-hmm. um I've known photographers in my uh, I've worked full time from 2015 so this is seven the seven year the seven I've seen so many photographers in between some who have gone big mm-hmm. some who have died along the way most have died along the way mm-hmm. and if you analyze mm-hmm. the difference is wanafanya uh, kienyeji okay. you know mm-hmm. if you take a photo to take a photo mm-hmm. uh, you're not running it as a business yes. sababu the same photographer ukuja mwambie anza kuuza vikombe mm-hmm. atakuwa a bit more professional mm-hmm. because it's a product yes but for service industry mm-hmm. service industry is number one, who are you as a person okay. and then how do you interact with people jo iki kombe ina user is it quality mm-hmm. yes is it not quality sinunui mm-hmm. service is do you believe i can actually deliver what i've said like mm-hmm. i don't have a promise mm-hmm. and then how do you interact with your clients uh, because you can repeat in, that again how do you interact again. with your clients mm-hmm. yeah. yeah because in the service industry mm-hmm. your network is your net worth mm-hmm. in every industry even product industry but service i think it's more because how did you make me feel mm. if you made me feel nice and the product was good uh, then in if the uh, output good, and the yeah. service was good mm. nda kurefer to someone mm. kikombe kama ilikuwa sawa mm. ni tarifa someone mm. so f- service is very sensitive mm. and then how do you how do you run uh, even the people you work with ha- uh, do they have um, this is called something called a corporate dna okay ni wakawa wewe unaweza kukopoa lakini unatafuta watu wa kujanga wamelewa people mm. who talk rude mm. And I'm very choosy about the people I work with. Okay. Very, very choosy. And uh, those who know my team, we are all like twins in terms of how we operate. Because okay. I, I look, I, I look. <laughs> but it's okay. I look for people who are like me. Mm-hmm. Because um, how you int- interact with one client mm-hmm. is how this client will refer you. Mm-hmm. It's how you make them feel. Mm-hmm. It's one thing that uh, I learned when I was working at. Uh, I used to work at Seven Seas. Okay. That's the company. Mike Mashara used. Mike Mashara used to tell us, um, people don't give business money mm-hmm. people give people money mm-hmm. so hata hata wakuja kwa my company esa they are not coming to give esa money they are coming to give joe because they trust joe who is under esa mm-hmm. will deliver nice. on the things that are my promise so mm-hmm. people don't give business money they give people money so how how you interact with people mm-hmm. is what matters mm-hmm. now what ukunje ni kienyeji sana the young photographers mostly yes. as in for them it's just a ni kupiga tu picha eh ni job tu unapata mtu venye amekuja amevaa eh amekuja camera iko sawa but eh amevaa tu funny mm-hmm. and if you come to any of my shoots i always dress well because you, you are dressed how you dress is if you do cliche you are dressed how you dress <laughs> but it, they, they are very true like yeah. at a, like at a US barack yes I think you have seen that. Yes. Sometimes when when you dress very casually, people mm. dress you casually. When you dress very well, mm. people dress uh, people address you that way. Yes. And the last thing is um uh is is trust the process. Another trust cliche process. thing. Mm. Trust the you want to be easy to na kani. So I think people want to take instant mm. instant me if or instant fame or instant uh, business he grow from zero to whatever amount. Mm-hmm. But <clears throat> in in life is a process. Wewe mwenyewe ulikuja za process yes someone yes. someone did something somewhere in the dark yes <laughs> Be, begu ikapandwa in 9 yes. months ukatokea 9 months 9 months au yeah. kutoka class 1 ukaingia university ulipita high school True. campus sasa uko life mm-hmm. then maybe you get married mm-hmm. then you get you know every It's life a is a process mm-hmm. so why do you want to jump the gun in your business mm-hmm. but um, this process too mm-hmm. kuna vitu lazima pia ufanye in between okay the same as i think the best process is pregnancy because that's the start of life mm-hmm. even in pregnancy you have to do things so that the baby comes out healthy yes eh mama lazima kunywa hizo some some supplements eh kuna vitu hizi fanya strain as work and all that and pia siku ya ku deliver the doctors are usually very keen eh mm-hmm. sijuna ambio mtoto nini maji kitoka mapema kibia hosi you know mm-hmm. very small things but they change the output mm-hmm. so in this process wewe unataka kuwa maybe the best photographer in Kenya mm-hmm don't just sit no nango janga ati utakuwa mm-hmm. work on your craft, craft mm-hmm. uh, interact with people well learn from other people who are above you and even below mm-hmm. above you they will help you to ku, ku jump start mm-hmm. so i mean kijua hapa kuna kongana shimo mm-hmm. eh nitakwambia usipitie hii ina kongana shimo mm-hmm. but the younger guys are also very energetic so they'll keep you at bay like me for me i look up to very mm-hmm. well seasoned photographers mm-hmm. And I also look uh, at very young photographers because of the energy, so it keeps me at bay. 
Okay. Yes. Okay. Nice, yeah. nice. Mm-hmm. Do you have guys who you have mentored in this industry? <clears throat> yeah, I have so many. You mention a few names. Uh, I'd start. Uh, I can't remember all, and if. Kisao jina wako please nisamehe. But uh, there is Bonfast Gishuru who has been on this show. Yeah, he's such an amazing guy. The funny thing I mentored him and right now I look up to him in a way <laughs> because uh, Niwala I think he just needed a spark and I can blow up. He's nice, he's doing nice. big things out there. There's a guy called Leon. Leon is also a very young guy but he's also very passionate. Mm. It's just a matter of time and atakuwa kwa hiyo with very mega projects. Yes, yes. And uh, yeah, wengine ni wengi ni wengi. Yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah. Tuko na swali nyingine. Yes. Which moment mm. uh in your field of photography? Yeah. Which is one moment which was the most embarrassing yeah. or maybe most inspiring? Yeah. You can give okay. us one. Yenye uwezi sawa kabisa kabisa. Ni mingi but uh, because uh, what I'm saying to you is na come. I'll start with the most inspiring because it happened a week before this show. Yes. So I get to go to this wedding mm-hmm. where the bride was a bridesmaid five years before in a certain wedding. Okay. So upon dwelling ali jua amekuwa kifollow kazi yangu for the last five years. Wow. So yeah when, but the inspiration bado ijafika. Uh-huh. But, uh-huh. but still inspiring. Uh-huh. So five years later her day came and she was still convinced that Joe will deliver uh-huh. and the wedding was amazing. But now the inspiring part was uh-huh. The maid of honor had done her, her wedding in 2014. 2014. Yes. Uh-huh. Then those are how many years? Eight years. Yeah. So when you imagine for eight years, mnapata yeah. nanaya and she still had the excitement of eight years ago will fanya kazi poa. For me, for me that was a life changing experience. Jeez. Because I've I've done so many big projects. Mm-hmm. I've done I've met so many big people. Mm-hmm. But for me, I think I'm moved with small things like I've been over there. There's a time we did. Um, a project where Uhuru came it was a barrio for an XMP I think kwa Nyamira okay so uh, we, were, we were the commission photographers mm-hmm. and uh, tulikuwa very close na Uhuru like you could see him very close mm-hmm. but for me that doesn't inspire me because hata he, he never knows me hata maybe like hata umwekea gani mwambie umeiona hiyo sura eh exactly ama hata kwa hiyo na hizo picha but now someone that I interacted with directly she's called mm-hmm. Nancy Nancy and Charles mm-hmm. And then it is down the line they're still excited at ile kazi tufanyia 8 years ago is still good na bado tuna kwa appreciate for me that was life changing mm. yeah on What? this other side embarrass eh sorry eh, embarrassing embarrassing yeah. sasa yeah. this was funny yeah. so funny but sad because it was a barrio okay but now the funny thing comes that uh, tumeongea na client client akaniambia the brief was uh, the body itakuwa montezuma Okay. Na alisema tu Monte of course kuna there are not many Montezuma yes. kuna moja ya Matacos na moja ya Nairobi I don't know any other. Mm. Uh the, the two weeks before that we had, we, had, we had done another barrio in Matacos. Okay. So ideally there's another Montezuma in uh, Thika. Okay. So ideally how it works mm. it's just an ideal situation when barrios are in Matacos mm. and you told Montezuma ni mantu za Matacos ndio body itakuwa. Yes. If barrios are around the Nairobi area yeah. when Montezuma Nairobi If barrios are around the Karuduko Kiambu uko yes. mm-hmm. Motozuma ya Dika mm-hmm. logically even in asema so the calendar can can be barrio ko Matakos mm-hmm. tunafuatana Montezuma at 6 so it's like sawa mm-hmm. mimi asubuhi tumetoka hapa na team tumekimbia tumefika mm-hmm. in good time we have even taken tea wow. uh, because we got there in good time we are very, we are good time keepers yeah, yeah. so client and call aniambia tumefika mko wapi atu kwa kunywa chai au tatukuja hapo kwa gate So mm-hmm. I'm get. I don't see like there's no activity at all. I think I'll go up. So I'm not meeting up on Danny, come to reception. So I'm going to reception still no activity. So, so I met three ladies there, reception three receptionists. Mhm. Okay, Lisa, can you client anaitwa ABCD? Eh watu wake wako wapi? Kuna msa. Wakaangalia ni ile fani ya. Mhm. Ati nani? Kaambia anaitwa hivi. Akona jina nyingine nikapiga client. Eh the deceased anaitwa nani? Kasema hivi. Na who is representing like the family name? Hivi. Kaambia anaitwa hivi na hivi. Ayo kangalia anga sama hapo. Nikushwa ni 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 Montezuma. Mm. No, my heart sank. Ama ile unasikia na kitumbu fu. Nikapiga client kama za mko Montezuma gani? Ya Mbagadi Road. Na sisi tuko Matakos. He. Nikamwambia client ngoja kidogo. So nikakata simu, just made a small prayer, God give me wisdom. This is a barrio, it can be repeated, time is of the essence. Yes. Tuko Matakos wako Mbagadi. Oh my god. Matakos to Nairobi yeah. without traffic is maybe an hour. Sasa it's a Friday. Sasa hiyo mambo sa road traffic yote ndagonga. Hiyo time ni nayo imefungulia expressway. Mm-hmm. So unapiga sababu the earliest unaweza fika Montezuma ni in 2 and a half hours mm-hmm. from Matakos. Eh hey, nikakumbuka sasa now I started calling my photographers or other people I work with who are around. 
So mmoja akakuwa he's not very busy nikamwambia kimbia Montezuma mm-hmm. just take very brief photos and, and videos of just you know things that are happening mm-hmm. and then the the matakos that the body was in was matakos ya pande ya dika pande ya kitui it was actually so it was tulikuwa dunia like we are totally, totally different worlds but now uh, the client at least I, 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 you see another good thing about a good track record hata mm-hmm. ukimess mm-hmm. client anakupatia a bit of benefit of doubt anyway. eh yeah, so nikampigia nikamwambia eh mzee hapa nimemess si tuko matakos mm-hmm. but someone is coming mm-hmm. another thing also to the young people mm-hmm. If you mess always look for a solution. Usimesa afu kai hivi. Mm. Ati nyinyi mungu sema ni Montezuma gani? Mlisema tu Montezuma na bari yuko matako. So no, look for a solution. Mm. So nika nikampigia nikamwambia si tuko huku and uh, atwezi make but kuna mtu ana come. Mm. Atakuja mpatie just you, you'll be late by 30 minutes because mm. he's he's coming from a, a bit of a distance but ata make. Okay. But mtatupata kwa site. Mm. So Montezuma enye tulikuwa ya matakos mm-hmm. to the, the actual location so sasa they had to send a pin mm-hmm. the actual location of the the barrio site was okay. two and a half hours mm-hmm. but from where they were to there is one and a half hours meaning we are already one hour behind <laughs> uh, okay we those calculations yes sasa nikamwambia watu wangu hapa mimi ama fast driver lakini leo itabidi tume sisi wote tumekimbia like itabidi tu tumekimbia yes So I had to compensate for one hour mm-hmm. but the good thing no god works in mysterious ways mm-hmm. and sometimes today I'm using very cliche words but I've seen them because mm-hmm. I made a prayer kambia god wa delay mm-hmm. it's a day and all but pia stay kumbesa kazi yangu because mm-hmm. they are sad then unakuja kuambia photographers you have to miss nini mm-hmm. people will be you know on your case kambia yes. tu god wa delay so for some weird reason mm-hmm. wakakuwa de- uh, when they finished uh, with Montezuma wakakuwa delayed okay. at the at the place you know in Bagadi mm-hmm. And then after that kulikuwa na massive jam between there and mm-hmm. KU Kenya University. Okay. There was like an jam yeleweki. Mm-hmm. So hiyo tutusaidia tukasi. Actually we even saved so much time that to be to be fikia mpaka dika. As in we you know all the all kwa nenda hivi. Mm-hmm. Sisi tuko tunafaa tuende hivi. So tulienda hivi mm-hmm. tukasave so much time mpaka tukapatana nao dika. Wow. Because my idea was also to save on face. Yes. So if they see the sacrifice mm-hmm. and nilicho a lot of well and all that that mm-hmm. i went even over and above my budget but i think i've got any life mm-hmm. client satisfaction is over and above the budget and i'll tell you a story of uh, another one i did in kericho okay. if time allows mm-hmm. where client satisfaction goes above budget okay so we kapana now dika and the first thing wakati of course of course i don't have to convoy what do you think so point auto kishuka juu na sikia photographer wamefika 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 because now people are expecting i don't know that we jafika ama it's another a failed story mm-hmm. another common story of photographers letting people down but what they told was so relieved they were so happy like you tell on their faces eh how to mazo meto kama tako zo kafika dika mbele yetu because you almost got there like for 12 minutes before them okay. so they were super impressed mm-hmm. and for me that gave me satisfaction because um, i saved the day my team saved the day uh, the guy who saved the day is called Jimmy thank you Jimmy for saving the day mm-hmm. and uh, yeah that's why you also need a network of people you need to keep good relationships so kama si Jimmy ah, we can't you can't work alone mm-hmm. kama si Jimmy eh uh, sijui ingetafuta mwingine maybe but you see Jimmy was also available and he was willing actually he was at home mm-hmm. he had a shoot in the afternoon mm-hmm. but he he ali sacrifice your time ya money and whatever he was doing na kaka kando kuja ni save wow yeah wow wow if i may touch on this other one why client satisfaction is more above mm-hmm. um budget mm-hmm. Uh this is this wedding the first wedding I ever did out of town that mm. was 2016 the very first one yeah out of town mm. it was in Kericho okay. so you excited unaenda mm. place mpya majani you know just a road trip in itself with the team um so so kupiga sababu zangu poa so the the amount that I quoted did not cover transport well wow. did not cover cover accommodation well did not cover meals of the team well mm. so baadaye Okay, so the, the, the day me answer like so some because I had to go a do, go a day before okay. on a Friday wedding niko saa 2 then come back on Sunday. Yeah. Na pigesa hapo naona hapa nimechoma. I think I went at a loss of almost 30k. Na back then that was a lot. You know you your profit if I may give you, give a perspective was like profit was like 8 to 10k. Okay. Sasa umechoma profit na umekula nyingine over over, over 20k ju. Mm-hmm. But and other uh, team I could jua. Mm. But nikaziambia who mm. client I mean trust kunitoa Nairobi and peleke Kericho sees him fail. Na kombe from that wedding that network alone mm. I have made too much money from that one. just that one network mm. and it's because 
they love their work mm-hmm. na mimi ni sikutaka hiyo you know fail i just unaweza kuwa unajiambia hii ni mimi close ndapiga tu for the sake mm-hmm. unapiga tu hivi kama moja kama moja no creativity no nothing mm-hmm. but mean i gave it my all mm-hmm. still other some of the photos i'll share wala watu wanaona majani chai ni hiyo couple kama unawajua big them up maybe actually they don't even know this story no. Uh, but from that network especially the best man is called Joshua. Joshua Joshua has opened even the your your example of party the barrio we did mm-hmm. um where the president was mm-hmm. that is one of our biggest projects because it, it was a whole week and uh, they paid well wow. but Joshua and mm-hmm. connects now the family of the mm-hmm. of the deceased okay. and then for the family got commission to do this barrio mm-hmm. and but, but Joshua was the best man mm-hmm. of this the wedding amazing. Karibu exactly. Wow. So over and above money mm. look for client satisfaction because people tell people of how they feel good or bad. Ukifanya ni feel poor ndasema eh barak bade ni mtu mpoa ukifanya ni feel mbaya. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Oh that is really interesting. Mm. So say nataka tufanye pop quiz. Sawa sawa. So pop quiz are just basic questions yes. about you. Yes. Aya. Question number one. Yes. Are you ready? Yes. What is your favorite food? Sasa hii ni mukimo. <laughs> mukimo na beef. Ah, but na sai because it changes over time okay. so as uh, at the moment mukimo na beef yeah. uh, any time any day yes nice nice yes. number two, yeah. your favorite gospel artist uh right now it's moji short baba baba because baba. i like his energy uh-huh. i like i'm a consistent pia but Sorry. energy ya sana yeah. yeah nice nice mm. Number three, favorite mm. mobile phone application yenu unatumia sana sai Google Maps. Google Maps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Google Maps. <laughs> Imefanya niende so many places without fear. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Because ya Google Maps. Eh yeah, na Mpesa unaweza nitumia ndio niyo. <laughs> Nikoonesha vile inafanyanga kazi. Sasa <laughs> Google Maps. Ah. Sasa. Ah ya favorite hobby and do you have a hobby apart from uh, now photography yeah. that you love doing? Yeah, yeah. What else do you love doing? Um I love traveling and the good thing about my job it pays me to travel. Yes. Uh, but another hobby is watching movies. Watching movies. I, I can watch movies back to back <laughs> for almost weeks and weeks. Nice. Ivile tu sawa lazima utafute pesa ya kulipa rent but <laughs> movies bills. and yeah. bills but yeah. movies yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. That actually leads us to the next question. Yes. Your favorite movie you know, you watch latest. Um over time my favorite ni Mission Impossible the series. Uh-huh. I think there say, say eight na tokea next year okay. Mission Impossible 8. Uh-huh inakonga poa kwanza wenye tu Ethan Hunt uh-huh. ah iko sawa iko sawa okay yeah, yeah. favorite pet and have you ever had a pet uh just on my plate do people eat pets <laughs> <laughs> no kuna mtu pale kuna mtu pale kwa sasa anaangalia vibaya because anajua hate pets hapana kuna mtu kuna spider juzi ah akapoka hiyo 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 recommenda mbali sana but ideally i don't love pets okay. uh, for i don't know It's not a bad thing anyway but I don't love pets okay. so I've never had one mm. I might have one in the future but say yapana Okay yes. okay we yeah. are done mm. just one more yes. favorite book Um cliche again about the bible mm. someone once said the bible has all answers but it's true mm. in business mm. and I live a lot of corner run mm. business Solomon had a, a, one of the most organized mm. uh, but I I'll challenge people to go and read the book of uh, yo about Solomon's mm. uh, Solomon sorry mm abanya kona rantuni ni yake una tu kuna kwa tu specific kwa kutengeneza timba kwa tu specific kwa gold things kwa tu specific kwa kufagia temple nice so inakuambia nini uweze kuwa wewe ndio photographer na videographer uweze kuwa ndio accountant na wewe ndio wewe ndio mtu kufagia so stick to your lane and one thing i uh, i have come to know is um, god loves order still again in the bible na wewe kama barak hauwezi kuwa peo chance ya ku interview maybe the next president what are you waze tu waze peo chance ya ku interview the next president if you're not doing this ati sasa umeacha kufanya hiyo umeenda kulima afu mtu akuja aseme ati kuja interview wa jakoya ama whoever president it will be you have to be doing what you're doing yes so god loves order so order 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 then along the way but a very big thing exactly Nice nice. Yes. Thank you so much for coming to the show. Asante. Eh uh, time imekibia sana. Asante sana. Before we round up, yes. just give us your parting shot. My parting shot. Uh, yes. Nazambia tuko kamera. Kwa kamera. Yes. So thank you for the people who have shown me love. There are so many I can't Hata nikaanza kuwataja nitakuwa nimechoma sababu kuna wale naweza sahau. I'm human but thank you for the love. I've seen it over and over and over and over and over. And uh, my prayer to all of you who support me is uh, that you'll never lack and 
wala kwa biashara may you also get massive clients wala kwa kwa employment may you get favor in your workplaces and also to the upcoming photographers and other business people because uh, photography is just like any other business um learn how to run your photography as a corporate that's a take home usi kwa mtu akienyeji and also um appreciate your people people you work with either employees or partners because those are your first line of uh, some line of defense as you go to your clients so if your people are happy you're also happy mm-hmm. above all mungu mbele cheza kama wewe pale kwa mpesa kama ni kufurahisha nitatumia baraka yake but barikiwe nice nice so where can we find you on social media uh pale bado yes yes uh, our social media page is called asa photography mm-hmm on all platforms mm-hmm. that's a s a a photography that's instagram uh, twitter facebook uh, my number i think it and kwapo chini mukesha ring my number and uh, you'll be impressed with what we have done and what we can also do for you uh-huh. yes nice thank you so much for coming to the show before to funge have a question yes. for you we uh, kuna mtu anakuzanga maswali ah mimi sitakangi maswali moja tu moja tu i don't take questions it, it, you, 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 you will benefit <laughs> what's your favorite <laughs> meal My favorite meal yeah. ugali and fish. Sawa, so, leo nakula na fish. Eh, thank you so much. <laughs> ah, thank yeah, you so ah, much. Yeah. So that was all from us here at Sanana Mitindo mm-hmm. naenda kula ugali na fish. Mm-hmm. Eh, so continue watching Sanana Mitindo watu behind the scenes wananichekelea. <laughs> eh, lakini thank you for watching. See you next Wednesday at 8 p.m. with a, with another amazing guest for now. Adios.